Welcome back to the Hobby Shop Studios here in Los Angeles. We're continuing our series on tips and tricks and how-to videos for the Sonicport VX. This one's going to deal primarily with recording drums, which might sound like an odd thing, but many famous drum tracks were recorded with just one microphone. Are You Gonna Go My Way by Lenny Kravitz is one example. So we've got a drum kit here, and we're going to actually uh, mic it up using just the Sonicport VX microphones. Okay, so now we're ready to record some drums. My friend Till Richter's here to uh, play some drums for us. Hi, Till. Thank you. Uh, there are a few things to keep in mind when you're trying to record an entire drum kit with one single mic, either a mono or a stereo mic. There are a few things to keep in mind. Uh, for one, the entire sound of the drum kit is something you have to take into consideration. And in these situations, it's often not a good idea to play a lot of splashy cymbals because uh, they can be louder than the entire drum kit. As well, uh, oftentimes you can get a very big sound by not hitting the drums quite so hard so that the transient is about the same level as the sustain of the drum. So, when you're positioning the mic to capture an entire drum kit like this, it's critical that you know exactly where to put the mic based upon what you want to hear. Um, changing the position of the mic just a little bit uh, will affect the sound a lot. So, one of the ways you can do this is by sticking one finger in your ear and listening to the entire drum kit with only one ear. And this basically means that you won't be hearing any bounce off of the back of the wall. So you'll be hearing more like what the mic will actually be listening to as you move it. So to simulate this, I'm going to have Till play. And I'm going to move the mic around in a couple different places so you can hear how much the sound changes from place to place. So I'm using uh, the mic in stereo mode. I have a mic pre at about five, and I'm running into the Rode a record app, which is kind of cool because it'll actually write waveforms in real time for me in stereo so I can watch it. So if I push record, now it's recording, and I'm ask Young Teal to play groove. Okay, so you can tell that there's a huge difference between all of those mic positions. So as the mic is closer to the floor, you get much more kick drum. As the mic is raised in the room, you get more of a balance of kick, snare, and hat. So your job is going to be listening with that one finger in your ear to decide what balance of the instruments you want. Maybe you want a lot of kick drum in one thing, or maybe you want it to be a much more balanced sound. So one of the things that's common to do in the studio is to process drum tracks like these through various effects. One of the things that this responds to very well is inordinate amounts of compression. So I'm going to have Till play again, and this time the audio you'll be hearing still recorded with Sonic Port VX, but uh, it will be processed through a plug-in uh, for extreme compression at the end. So let's see what that does. Um, we're recording. There you go. So you can see that the drums really benefit from all that extra compression. It helps glue all of those individual drums into one sort of smushy rock sound, which is a very desirable sound for lots of modern record making. Now there's something else you can do. As opposed to doing that in post-production, you can do that right on the fly by running Sonicport through MobilePod first and into something like GarageBand or Cubasis or Aria or something like that. So you're processing and making those choices on the way in. So now I'm going to set up the iPad for MobilePod, and we're going to do the same thing, only processing it with the guitar sounds in MobilePod as opposed to some sort of post effect. So now I've got the iPad set up to record the output of MobilePod into GarageBand, and I'm going to use a traditional rock guitar sound to process the drums. So you can see from the signal here, I've got a, a, a plexi-ish kind of an amp, um, I've got um, a 412 cabinet, and an EQ to add some lows and low mids uh, to help beef up the kick drum. So now, when I push record, you're going to be hearing the output of MobilePod process the drums. So, back is in position. Here we go. So 
you can see that recording drums with one stationary microphone isn't as crazy as you might have thought. And adding crunch with mobile pod for some of those rock and roll room sounds can really add dimensions to your recordings. So check out all the videos and series, and then head down to your store and pick up a Sonic Port VX today and get recording. Thanks and cheers.